Hey everybody, welcome back to another Troubadour Tutorials. Today we are going to be playing with Insta4K by Red Giant. Please leave a like, comment, and a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next part. So I just want to lay a couple of scenarios before we get into the tutorial part about why this is so important. I regularly work with a Canon T3i. Sure, I've been shooting a lot more with better quality cameras lately, but Canon T3i has been my mainstay for a while. What's nice is I can go back now, re-release all of my short films in 4K without losing any of the quality. Another great feature when it comes to Insta 4K is when you forget to set your camera back to 4K. You can instantly bump up your footage without losing any of the quality. That being said, let's check out the tutorial. Okay, so we are in Adobe Premiere. We have our clip. Now this clip is just something from uh, Damned If You Do, Damned If You Don't. It's a project that Troubadour Films has been working on. Uh, the final version of the film looks a lot different than this. It is in 4K due to this. Uh, cropped and it also uh, is black and white, which is one of the reasons why I did that uh, Sin City effect video. We're going to go to our sequence settings here and we are going to change what is our 19 by 20 or 1920 by 1080 footage, excuse me, to 4096 by 2160. And yes. So, uh, you know, you would think you, all you have to do is that, but that's going to cause you to lose quality in your image. So we're going to use instant 4K down here. We have all of our options down here and we are going to simply just change it to this. Now we aren't losing any quality of our image as far as I could tell at least. Um, and we also have different options that you can play with when it comes down to it. Uh, changing it to draft, changing it to best. I always like to make sure that obviously everything is the best that it possibly can be when it comes to the footage. And in a few seconds, you're just going to see this small clip right here playing in 4K rather than 1920 by 1080 or HD. Well, everybody, I really hope that you learned something today. I remember when I found Insta 4K for the first time, it was something that Johnny Wu had introduced to me. I'll leave his link in the description. It was absolutely life changing for me because now I have something that I can re-release old short films with, I can still use my T3i and get good image quality, not great image quality, but still be able to release everything that I'm working with in 4K. Definitely going to be doing that uh, more often when it comes to short films and just when I have to use the camera itself. Definitely, obviously, I'm looking to upgrade as well. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next Troubadour Tutorials.